Google search and conversation developed end to end. I'm gonna show you how to create the app, link it to your data store and your PDFs, and ultimately uh, how you embed it and integrate it into your website or intranet. Let's go. So if you haven't already, uh, log into your app builder. So the links will be in the description below. If you haven't installed Google Cloud, um, I suggest you take a look at one of my other videos, which is gonna be available in the links uh, in the description. So what we can do now is, um, if you haven't already create a project, so just go new project, give it a name. And we're gonna just call this My Gemini, cause I was messing around with Gemini. Um, but what we're gonna be doing is basically doing a search um, on our PDF documents. So um, I'm just gonna use some sample documents that have been uh, made available, but um, this is gonna be an application demo. Ultimately on the left hand side over here is gonna be the apps, your data stores and your monitoring. And once you've created the app, it's gonna provide an integration and a preview space. So let's get going with a search. So let's go um, click on search. We can keep these things enabled over here for the time being because we want to get extracted answers from our documents, right? So this is what we're ultimately looking at here. Um, if we wanted to add images, we can also do that in a website search. So really powerful features. We can also do advanced LLM. So we want to basically use the uh, Palm LLM to um, interrogate and query our things. So let's just call this a um, my, let's just go here, my, uh, doc search. All right, so here's the ID that's going to be um, made available to us, which we're going to be using for our endpoints. Uh, name of the company, so first for data.com, and the location of the app is there. So that's all great. All right, so what we want to do now is create a new data store. And what we're gonna be doing is a um, cloud storage. So let's just click on cloud storage. Um, if you wanted to use any of the other spaces, um, you can do that as well. Uh, but let's just do cloud storage for the time being. What we're gonna do is a folder and what we can do is, um, again, all these descriptions, uh, all these links will be in the description below so you can have a play around with it. All right, um, this is basically gonna be alpha, so basically Google's um, PDFs, um, pretty easy to use. So we're gonna select unstructured documents because this is a PDF, HTML text, documents and stuff like that. All right, so that's really what you want to do here. So if you've got your own files, upload it to your Google Cloud Storage, select the unstructured documents and hit continue. All right, so the name of the store um, for the data is gonna be uh, Google Doc. Uh, this could be whatever you've got. So it could be your insurance company's name, it could be your policy docs, it could be uh, finance, anything like that. So let's just hit create. All right, so what we do now is we click on it and make sure we can click on create. So it basically creates the data store for us. So we basically just created a container. Um, now what we wanna do is actually do the um, uh, data store connected to our app. And what you'll see on the left hand side is um, some new information. All right, so what we can do is um, have a look if the data has been imported. All right, so as you can see, a number of documents imported is zero at the stage, so it takes a little while. Um, you can click on activity just to make sure what's happening. and it's import is in progress. All right, so let's give that a few minutes. Okay, so once the data has been imported, you can see here the number of documents it's been imported. And if you click on documents over here, you should be able to get a preview. And here's the documents over here. So PDFs, Opavets, earnings, earnings. And as you can see here, it's a diverse range of PDF documents. All right, so what we can do now is click on preview. And this will basically give you a sample of what the app might look like in a web browser or on a PC or on a mobile device. Um, all right, so what we can do over here is let's just type in what was alpha Bet's investment strategy. All right, so um, 
it's basically looking in citations from the alphabet reports and it's basically sucking all this information out of your PDFs. So that is pretty fantastic and it made short work of that. I mean, how fantastic was that? All right, if you want to do the web version, you can click on it like this and it'll basically show you. All right, um, what we can do now is click on configurations and I'll just show you a couple of um, uh, value add items just to make it look a little bit better. All right, so we can do the search, the, the result count, so stop the results at that point over there. Um, you can do, you can provide snippets or extract answers. You can add autocomplete. So let's do an autocomplete so it can come up with some of the things. Give instructions to customize the tone and the verbosity. All right, so let's do that. And what we want to do is say um, respond in a uh, friendly so this is exactly what you can do now to um, customize and tailor it to your tone in a friendly manner but factual and publish all right so if you wanted to preview it you can pop it in over here let's just go look at advanced this is basically where you can switch on your um, llm or your enterprise feature so we won't go there just yet so let's just go widget again so as you can see, really, really simple, really easy to use. And what we can do over here is just do a bit of a test here. What is Alphabet's um, strategy? All right, so once you've started building up your autocomplete, um, it'll basically start working um, to do the autocomplete here. And as you can see, here's all the documents easily accessible and with information. All right, so that's all great and happy with that. So let's go to integration. And what we're going to do now is look to try and create this and embed this in our own environment. So what we're going to do is set it to public access. Um, this is going to be the easiest to test out right now without doing any configuration. Uh, the next step you need to do is add the domains that you want to test from. So these are your client points. So localhost, firstfordata.com and any other sort of points where you want to test the code. The next step is really simple. Go down to the bottom, copy the code that's been generated for you. What you can then do is open up your application um, or your web page that you would like to insert the data to. So let's start with the local host first. So I've created a demo.html file and um, what we can do is just paste this information and I'll provide this um, sample um, script for you guys as well. You just have to change your um, config IDs. All right, so all you need to do is just copy it into your web page save it and let's open up the local host over here so i've just tested it so let's just refresh it and um, as you can see it says local host here so it's definitely not on the server and this is what the page looks like so again great for your own intranet or your own website um, you can do author authentication etc so really simple so let's see if it works so what is google's ai strategy and summarize it. Yeah, two sentences, yeah. All right, so again, using the power of the large language model plus scanning through the PDF documents, there's, there's the um, strategy. All right, then ultimately all the documents are available. Let's try that now on a public website. So I use Wix to host my website. Um, so really, really simple. So click on add elements and choose the embed HTML widget component. Drag that onto your page. And um, I've already done that, so I won't do it again, but double click it and all you do is literally copy and paste that code and uh, click on update. And all you can do now is save it, publish it, and um, go and have a look at it. So here's the, the test of what I did. So let's just refresh that page. And let's type it in here. All right, so what is Google's, what's Google doing with AI for the future? Let's see what that comes up with. So again, as you can see, generating the content and all authorization and all access has been um, made. 
All right, so you can scroll down and obviously just need to tidy up the page a little bit. But as you can see, really, really simple, easy, efficient way to create a search app um, on your website. And here's just the PDF document um, opening up in Google Cloud and ultimately able to be um, retrieved. Um, so again, if, obviously if it's your business information, don't do public, you'd wanna put it more private. And um, if you want a video on how to create um, private authentication and JWT and OAuths, leave a comment. And I hope you've had fun watching this demo.